Welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I am Steve Leahy. So this is the kind of eight month into it review of the uh, red grass wet palette. So I got this at the beginning of the year in 2022. Um, looking for a wet palette. Um, this company came really highly recommended by a lot of the uh, uh, miniature figure painters. And um, so, so I grabbed it. Um, I did the review on it. I've been using it a little while, uh, but now I figured I'd kind of go back into it since I've had a good eight months on this palette. And I have to tell you, um, out of all the things that, that I use, this is one of those items now that, that I really don't want to paint without. Um, it has really changed the game as far as keeping the paint open when I'm doing paintbrush work. Uh, it just keeps it keeps it fluid for a lot longer than it would if I used a standard palette. I usually use a glass palette. Uh, the paint would dry in about 10 to 15 minutes and I just have to put out more paint and just keep that process going. This, because of the way that it works, uh, and you can go back and watch my other uh, Tech Tuesday on, on the setup, uh, but it's got this special uh, sponge pad that goes on the bottom here and then there's a, uh, a, a also special parchment paper that goes on top. And the way that it works is you put a drop of paint on here uh, and, well, let's back up a little bit. So you wet the sponge uh, underneath, you just pour water in this tray, uh, and then the water kind of impregnates the entire sponge. The parchment then gets wet as well, but not wet, it gets more like damp. It, it allows the water to kind of come through the, the parchment in a controlled way. So you put a drop of paint on there, and then as the paint evaporates, as it, as it essentially cures, it'll draw the water up from underneath in the same proportion that it's evaporating out. So it keeps the paint wet for quite a while. Um, it has been awesome. It has been really, really, really great. So when you get the wet palette from Red Grass, uh, it comes with this airtight lid that kind of goes on top, and there's an elastic band, a wide band that you can put on this if you want to transport it. It also comes, they call it the wavy palette because it's got little waves in it, but um, it's just a little, um, I'm sorry, reservoir. Uh, so you can put, I put reducer in this and sometimes when I don't want the paint to um, to uh, sit on the wet palette, I'll put it in these little cups, uh, but mostly use it for reducer and it's got these neat magnets on the side. So it'll either stick to uh, this side or this side here. So it's kind of kind of neat that way that it would hold on like that. All right. So the things that I, you need to keep in mind with this uh, acrylic based paint, which is what this is intended for, um, is not just acrylic pigment mixed with water. There's a lot of stuff that's in that uh, binders and retarders and things like that. That's what's evaporating out. And what happens is you replace all that stuff, the binders and the the uh, the retarders and everything with with water. So it changes the paint if you let it sit long enough. So this is great uh, for me uh, if you know I'm working with the same color paint for a couple days um, it works out really well but what happens is like with this yellow ochre um, it'll change the way the paint performs. It'll replace all that good stuff with water. So it compromises its ability to stick, it compromises its ability to cover but again that's a that's a minor thing in the grand scheme of things. I don't do this so I can keep paint open for a week. It's just so I can keep paint open or pliable while I'm working and it works amazing. Uh, you get these parchment sheets um, in a package of 50 uh, from Red Grass. So once I fill up the, the sheet, I'll just crumple this up and throw it away. The sponges, they give you two with the pack. This is still the first one after eight months and while it's got paint kind of in it from things I moved it around and the paint was wet and it got on the sponge the sponge still works in fact I did kind of a bad thing I accidentally instead of putting water in this I put rubbing alcohol which is my preferred cleaner and you can see how it uh, kind of screwed up the the foam in in the palette but still not to the point where it doesn't work so uh, the, the foam pad is very durable um, and they're not overly expensive either. So if you do really screw it up or if it just gets completely covered with paint, you can always just swap it out. But for the most part, I, I know I'll go a year with the same foam pad. So And I have the other one in the bank if I need it. So that's really great. So again, I can't say enough about this thing. It, is, it has been just a really, really great addition to, uh, to, to you know, my studio and, and how I work. 
Um, so again, I'll put the links to Redgrass. There are other manufacturers, but this was one of those things that came highly recommended, and I took, uh, I just, I just went and bought it, and I have zero regrets. I won't be looking at any other palettes only because this one works so well. Um, but I believe that there is pretty much the same across the board on them. So there you go. All right. So for Steve Leahy and Tech Tuesday and the Redgrass Wet Palette, I will catch you guys next time.